Greetings and salutations war criminals. Today I am going to talk about one of my all-time favorite warframes in the entire game, Hero. Hero is my favorite due to his good CC, excellent weapon buffs, amazing energy sustain, and of course his free red crit 4. Without any further ado, grab a drink and let's get into the video. First and foremost I will explain his abilities to anyone who does not know them already. Hero's first ability is Beam Kinky I mean Condemn, which applies CC to enemies in front of you in a beam, the length of which depending on ability range. You also gain overshield with each enemy hit which scales with ability strength. Next up is Hero's second ability BDS Penance which sacrifices all of your shields and overshields. In return you gain an insane fire rate and reload speed boost along with life steal from every hit you deal to an enemy. For comparison, here is an unmodded Baza without the boost. And with the boost. So yeah, the boost is quite significant. Its duration depends on how much shields and over shields you sacrifice and how much ability strength you have, going up to 35% fire rate boost and 70% extra reload speed. Next up on our list is Hero's third ability, Thurible. During this ability Hero swings this thing around and creates a mist of pit holy water around him. The ability will drain your energy until you either cancel it or run out of energy. Every subsequent enemy kill will reward you with the energy displayed. Headshots granting extra. The drain on this ability scales with casting speed which you will most definitely need to mod for, as the normal length of the ability is about as slow as my father's driving on the way to get the Mero's fourth and final ability is Covenant. This ability completely shields you and your allies from all forms of damage or knockdowns. Any of the absorbed damage is then converted into sweet juicy critical chance up to 50%. Also headshots quadruple the crit chance, so aim for the head. Now that I've acquainted everybody with the power of Daddy Harrow, allow me to show you how to mod him effectively. I'll start with the Archon Shards. I run 2 yellow shards for casting speed and 3 blue shards for maximum energy. This is so I do not have to use natural talent or flow in my build. Note, none of the crystal shards have to be tough forged. I just happened to have it. Next of course is the build itself. It is a steaming pile of dog shit in comparison to some of the other Warframe content creators, but I think it's a little more realistic for a majority of the players that play this game such as myself. You can replace rolling guard or quick thinking with adaptation if you prefer it. I have also prepared a more budget build for the people who have a life, and don't play Warframe all day unlike myself. The two missing mod slots can be filled with whatever mods you might have laying around or just enjoy using. You don't have to use the augment either, as it only prolongs your fourth ability's duration. And with that my loyal war criminals, I would like to thank you for watching, please for the love of all that is holy subscribe like comment share consume hydrate dad come back with the milk I'm fucking begging.